Hey folks, Quill18 here. Steam is having a big Halloween sale um, on horror-themed games for this week, and I figured I'd go down the list and just highlight a few things that um, maybe aren't that that popular, that famous, that you might want to check out uh, with things being fairly cheap at this point. I'm just going to go down the list really quickly here and see something that I, I want to talk about. There's a lot of games, obviously, definitely worth checking out. Um, this Ghostbusters game, I actually haven't played this, but if you get a chance to try Ghostbusters the video game, which came out mm, a year ago, I think. It was a console game, but also on PC. Actually, shockingly good, shockingly fun, very well voice acted and written. It's, if you're a fan of the Ghostbusters movies, it's actually a fantastic game. Um, what else? Ghostmaster, I really want to talk about. Look at this, a buck twenty-four, a buck twenty-four for a game. Any game is probably worthwhile. This is actually hilariously fun. I've got a couple of videos for it on my channel. Uh, do a search in my channel, and you should be able to find it. Um, you 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 control ghosts and unleash them on like a house and stuff to to scare the inhabitants and and whatnot. Um, it's sort of, in a way, kind of puzzleish, but. Not directly, it's like kind of like a real-time strategy something. Like, you sort of have to figure out how to use your ghosts in the best way to accomplish the goals. But it's not like there's just one solution. Um, so there's a few different ways of playing it through, uh, especially depending on which ghosts you choose for the mission. Um, yeah, lots of fun. Check it out, a buck twenty-four. I mean, God, play it for an hour, you've gotten your money's worth. Or, like me, play it for 20 hours, and then you're in really, really good shape. I love the fact, so this Railworks train simulator game has so much DLC, it's got like $1,600 worth of DLC, um, because people who are into trains want specific things. They want the route between, um, you know, their hometown or, or, or something like that, and they want a specific train. So there's a lot of that. It's like if you're a model train enthusiast, people will spend a lot of money on that thing. And so uh, on the computer, it's the same thing. In fact, it's cheaper than doing it in real life, but it's still a lot of money. Well, they came out with a DLC that is trains versus zombies. I mean, really, can you get any better than that? How freaking brilliant. Um, what else do I want to highlight? The Overlord game is actually fairly fun. It's not necessarily the greatest game in the world, or, or games, because there's Overlord 1 and 2, and there's an expansion for the first one as well. Uh, but it's pretty good. It's f five bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong for basically getting three games. You play an evil Overlord with his minions. You control, I don't know, goblins and stuff, and you send them out to attack peasant towns and all these things. It, it's sort of a third-person over-the-shoulder cam and very interactive and, and funny, like, you know, kind of cartoonish uh, violence, but you, you're pretty evil. And... Um, it's actually a really fun game. It plays out a little bit... Like, when you get down to it, when you really analyze the game, it, it does come out to be... It's kind of like a puzzle adventure game, um, but there's a lot of, like, semi-action-y stuff, and it's a lot of fun. Um, Amnesia. All of you have to just play Amnesia, because I want to know that the, the rest of you are suffering as much as me. It is obviously a fantastic, very well-done game by an indie company. Um that, uh, like, the only reason you wouldn't play it is because it's goddamn terrifying. But if you buy it, then you can make other people play it, and that's funny as hell. So, four dollars! I mean, come on. Like, play it for a few minutes. Uh, Stalker, I have not yet played, even though I, I bought it the last time it came on sale. It's supposed to be a really, really good, um, very open-ended, I think, first-person type shooter, but it's like, it's kind of like Fallout 3, like, apocalyptic survival sort of thing. Um, by all accounts, very good. Like, an RPG, first-person RPG, something like that. Um, definitely, definitely check it out. And it's unfortunate that I haven't played it, so I can't really do it justice, but everyone says it's awesome. But if you download it, there's um, you want to go and look up... Is it called something called Stalker Complete? It's like a fan patch for it that apparently uh, fixes certain bugs, uh, adds a bunch more content, uh, even some content that was just sort of never quite finalized uh, and wasn't active in the final game. And so these guys have finished it up and made it live, and it really adds a lot of value to the game, apparently. Uh, Left for Dead, I mean, come on. Don't just buy one. Buy four copies, send them to your friends, and you're going to have a blast. This is one of the greatest co-op shooters ever made. Uh, even just playing with bots isn't bad, but you really got to play with friends because there's nothing funnier than shooting someone in the back of the head with a shotgun. Uh, Dead Space, I hear, is a very good other scary game, a little like Amnesia type, you know, that, that sort of survival horror type genre. Um, very creepy game to play. Dead Island, very, very recent. So it's funny that, or it's kind of surprising that it's coming on sale so quickly, but of course it's only 25% off and from the full retail price, basically. So it's still pricey, but it's, that's what you get for a new game, and by all accounts, it's a fun, very open-ended zombie survival game. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, Dungeons is something that I have been meaning to try. 
Um, it is basically a remake of an, a much older game uh, called Dungeon Keeper, more or less, where you play as the Dungeon Keeper. You make the dungeon that the uh, the heroes are going to try to invade later on. I'm not 100% sure about the specifics of dungeons, um, but that's basically what's going on. So you get to play a builder. I don't think it was very well received, although I think it's been patched and has had either expansions or DLC since then that may have helped things somewhat. Um, I don't know about this expansion, but Borderlands is, Borderlands is a very, very fun game, uh, especially co-op. I played it on the PlayStation 3 split screen, which is not necessarily ideal, although it does mean you get to play with, you know, a buddy uh, with just one copy of the game as opposed to having to buy four copies, but do check out Borderlands. It's a um, first-person RPG, I guess. I guess you could call it, with really nice co-op elements. It's sort of like a more arcadey version of Fallout 3 that is also multiplayer. There you go. Um, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I bought the last time it came on sale, and I really, really want to play it. Um, it's a little bit of an older game. It's released 2007. Um, but it was very highly regarded. I've played... Um, I, this Vampire the Masquerade is a pen and paper RPG, like Dungeons and Dragons, except in the vampire world. Um, and it's very popular. And I used to play it sort of, you know, pen and paper, tabletop. Uh, and they did come out with a video game sometime before this that was... Uh, that was actually pretty good, but still had some, some problems, and this one apparently is considerably better in a lot of different ways. I think it has a very KOTOR-like, Knights of the Old Republic-like um, RPG system, and a lot of flexibility, and it was rated, like, it's got like 80% on Metacritic at release, and apparently it was buggy at release, and now it's gotten two patches, plus some fan patches if you go looking for it, so... Psh- Sounds great. Go to it. Uh, Very highly... Even though I haven't played it, I'm going to recommend this game. Bioshock, everyone should know, is awesome, and it's only five bucks. If you haven't played it, what are you doing? I haven't actually finished it. The problem is I uh, rented it on my PlayStation, and I wasn't able to finish it before I had to give the game back, and I decided that, oh yeah, I hate first-person games on a console, so I never ended up finishing it, even though I own it on PC, so I'm going to have to go and do that at some point, because I think I bought it at a Christmas sale. (sighs) Almost out of air. Dungeons... Again? Oh, it's a sequel to Dungeons. Oh, there's a sequel. Multiplayer mode. Oh, cool. Check check that out. Yeah. Um, I don't know what all this stuff is necessarily. Some of it maybe I should. Uh, yeah, Resident Evil. Uh, oh, Fear. Um, I have not played Fear 3, but the first two Fears were actually pretty good first-person shooters with creepiness built in. Um, I wasn't terrified while playing it. There were certainly a few moments that sort of startled me because something sort of jumps out at you. But I I can't say that I was absolutely terrified playing it. But some people I know have played it, and they seem to react to fear the same way I react to amnesia. So um, that's cool. And I'll have to try Fear 3 at some point. I played through, I think, yeah, I played through 1 and 2, and I think there was an expansion for one or both of them that I played at some point as well. Burn, zombie, burn, don't know what other nation, run, trapped. Penumbra! Uh, Penumbra, these are by the same people who made Amnesia. These came out first, and by all accounts, they are also quite creepy and terrifying. So, I won't play them, but, you know, maybe you guys should. Oh, there's the Fear Collection. 679, Fear, Fear Extraction Point, Fear Perseus Mandate, Fear 2 Project Origin, Fear 2 Reborn. So, two games, plus three, four sort of DLC expansions... Awesome. That's going to be an excellent value there. Uh, the game's probably a little bit dated now at this point in terms of first-person shooters, but it was still a lot of fun for me to play through. Uh, I enjoyed it. And on hi- higher difficulties, is actually really challenging. Uh, Space Pirates and Zombies. So let's take a moment to talk about this. Mm, other games. Hey, there's Borderlands. Okay. Um, Space Pirates and Zombies is basically the game that I, I think I was trying to make when I started ma- working on my project codenamed Syzygy. And I haven't actually played this, but I've read about the game a lot. And I, I own it now because I just bought it because it was on sale. Um, only 25% off, but it's an indie game, so it was never very expensive in the first place. And I think the reviews are like awesome. Well, 74%. But yeah, it's this is basically the game I was trying to make, and someone else made it, and except better. So there we go Space Pirates and Zombies. Sort of a semi arcade strategy, space simulating, whatever the much you call it game. And that's it. That's my Steam Holiday, Steam Halloween sale review. Get out there, enjoy some games. See you next time.